What's up guys, it's Bumpkins. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. Wednesday means new comic book day. New comic book day means new comic book haul video. As always, I went down to Infinity Flux here in Chattanooga, Tennessee for another awesome stack of books and one other goodie here that we'll get to. Uh, there's a lot to get through. I thought it was a lighter week than normal, but it turns out it's not. So let's go ahead and jump right into these. The first one's not even new, but it's super cool. Um, it is Black Widow number two, the Alex Ross Timeless variant. What was really fun is, you know, Black Widow came out, I think it was last, yeah, last Friday, and Infinity Flux did this awesome thing. They just made a little post on Instagram that said, hey, come in, mention the Black Widow movie, and you'll get one of these for free. I thought that was super cool. Um, I went into yesterday to get my DC books, and they still had some of these, so, you know, they just dropped it in the bag. So, uh, thank you, Infinity Flux, for that cool little, um promotion of the movie, I guess, or partnership of the movie, or whatever you call it. Uh, that was really fun. It was really cool. I also enjoyed Black Widow. Um, thought it was really fun, and it was cool to get this to go along with it. After that, we've got Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number four. I think this is the last one. I might be wrong about that. Um, I haven't read two or three yet, so I'm a little bit behind on this uh, series. Uh, speaking of Carnage, we've got Extreme Carnage Scream. Number one, I think. Extreme Carnage is a series of one-shots. I think it's maybe eight of them. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something else. But um, this is Scream's turn. I haven't read the other ones yet. I got the uh, trading card variant. You guys know I love my comic book trading cards, and I like them on the covers as well. Iron Man number 10. I still can't believe that Alex Ross is doing the A covers. Uh, he's done 10 of them now. This is issue number 10. And they all look great. But also, Iron Man number 10, I got the um, the Captain America variant. They've, they're doing a line of these 80th anniversary Captain America covers where the different heroes of whatever book you're picking up is wearing some variation of a uh, Captain America costume. Uh, this looks like it's Steve Rogers, but sort of like in an Iron Man uh, Captain America suit that is better than the one in the 90s. So uh, I like these covers as well, so I'm going to try to get all of these that I can. The Miles Morales one coming out, I think, next week is really cool. Sinister War number one. Sinister? Sinister War number one. The Bagley Connecting variant. Um, again, still haven't caught up on Amazing Spider-Man. Don't know what led us to this series, but uh, if all these guys are in it, then it's going to be super cool. And in addition to that, I got uh, Sinister War number one, the new variant as well, because I love his artwork, and that is a super cool Spidey. Sticking with Spider-Man theme, Spider-Man Spider Shadow number four. This series is getting crazy. Um, I won't spoil the ending of the last issue, but uh, the symbiote is still out there and doing things, <laughs> and we'll see what happens in this one. Uh, and then wrapping up Marvel, I ordered, uh, I gotta read the title because I don't know which one this is, uh, Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number two. This is the Bosk action figure variant. I ordered this one for my buddy Opie. He's a big Bosk fan. He has a World of Warcraft character uh, that he named. All of his characters and all the MMOs are named Bosk, B-O-S-C. So it's not quite spelled the same, but uh, this character inspired that name across all these MMOs that we play. So had to get that for him. Over on the DC side, got the Action Comics Annual, 2021 Annual. Action Comics is telling an interesting story right now with uh, Superman finding some long lost, I guess you could say, Kryptonians. Um, I'm not sure how much this delves into that story. I think it ties in, but I'm not too sure. But it's a fun story, so uh, we'll see if it ties in. One that I'm loving is Batman the Detective. This is number four. The first three issues have been great. Batman is uh, trying to track down somebody who was killing everyone that he has saved. And the last issue we got... Uh, some backstory, uh, a little bit more of Batman coming up, learning how to be a detective, because it's Batman the detective. So we got a little bit of a, a backstory about how he learned to be a good detective. And um, I am assuming that this issue is going to be great as well. And then uh, Batman Urban Legends number five. I got the Batgirl variant. I don't remember who the artist is on this one, uh, but I haven't read any of this series yet, but I can't wait to read those. And then Detective Comics 1039, the Bermejo variant as usual. Um, again, haven't read this one either. Uh, still have all of the Tinian and later run of the Bat books, Batman, Detective, Nightwing, Joker, all that stuff. So uh, I got a big old stack right down here behind me. 
I don't know if you can see it, but uh, to catch up on eventually. Cover of the year, Flash 2021 annual, Brett Booth doing what Brett Booth does best, drawing speedsters, um, and that cover is awesome. I do believe this wraps up the story that we've been reading in the Flash with uh, Wally West hopping through different speedsters in time and maybe through in different multiverses, different universes as well. So um, I think this story wraps that up, but regardless, it could be the worst story ever and that cover would make this issue worth it. That is so awesome. Future State, Gotham number three, the B cover. I haven't read this one yet either, or haven't read the series yet either, but I do like the art style inside, the black and white, the more manga-esque version, or the more manga-esque style. Um, so this is a cool catch up on that. Infinite Frontier number two, um, I'm enjoying this series. I'm a little bit lost because I haven't read Death Metal yet. And I think you kind of have to know a lot about Death Metal to really, I mean, to really understand what's going on. Obviously, I get it, but you really need to have read Death Metal to understand everything. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but there's some things I don't, I don't get. And, but it's still fun. I'm still enjoying it. And uh, the first issue was good. This one should be as well. Speaking of those bat books that I haven't caught up on yet, uh, Joker number five, the um, punchline variant, I haven't read Joker Eddie yet, but uh, got them all for when I'm ready. And then one that I had, I didn't even know was coming out this week uh, until I saw it on Infinity Flex's Instagram post. The Nice House on the Lake, number one, second print. I do have the first print of this same cover, but the second print is like, it's weathered. It, or it's like, you know, like, like real beat up looking, uh, you know, made to look like a real, you know, like an old reader copy of a book or something. I just thought that looked cool. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's all for DC, uh, kind of a light image week, but I did get Ha Ha number six. I believe this is the last one of this series. I've really enjoyed this series. Anthology, uh, not really horror, um, kind of creepy, I guess, but uh, except the last one was was pretty, pretty tame. I don't know what's gonna happen in this one. I think there's a Ice Cream Man crossover, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to read that one. It's been a couple months too. I think this skipped June, so I feel like it's been forever since I've read Ha Ha. So I've got to get on that. You know, Silver Coin number four, I really wanna like this series and I really enjoyed the first issue. Dude finds a coin, it uh, grants him prosperity in his life, but then it does something bad. Uh, the second issue wasn't really like that. Uh, the coin was sorta kinda in it. The third issue was sorta kinda the same. You know, the series hasn't been what the first issue was and what I thought the series was going to be. So maybe this one will be. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with this one or not, but I'm going to read this one. Maybe I'll get one more. I mean, it's good, but it's just not what I thought it was going to be. So, you know, we'll see. I may I may jump off this one soon. Skybound X number two, finally. Uh, these have been a little bit delayed. I did read the... Uh, I know I read the whole... I read all of Skybound X one. It was real fun. The Rick Grimes 2000 story was a lot of fun with uh, Kirkman, you know, sort of continuing his story from Walking Dead 75 where apparently aliens are the cause of the zombies. It's non-canon, but it's a fun story to tell and, and this book is doing that. Along with some other, um, we've got a, some Birthright in this one, Stillwater, I like that series. Um, so yeah, this, this, is, this is fun, uh, you know, sort of little anthology of different Skybound properties. As for the rest of the indies, picked up Space Pirate Captain Harlock number two with that cool The Dark Knight homage cover. Uh, that just looks really neat. The first one was fine. I may jump off after this one, but, uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta give a book at least two issues to try it out. Speaking of, Bunny Mask number two from Aftershock. The first one was fine, but I didn't understand it. So, um, if it doesn't get any more clear after this one, I may jump off this as well. But, you know, we'll give it a shot and see. The Lot number one. I want to say this is a three-part series. Um... I don't remember what this is about, but I was all in. I'm all in on everything Bad Idea because their books have been great. Um, you know, their their distribution has been questionable, but their books have been fantastic. I've really enjoyed all of them. And again, this is the last of the first issues of the books that they announced way back when. We do have the final five coming later this year, but, um, but yeah, this is the last of the first run of their books. Cherry Blackbird, number one, from Black Caravan, the Scout, a Scout Comics imprint. Uh, I hate when I say this most every week, but I don't remember what this one was about. But when I did hear what it was about, uh, thanks to Infinity Flux's uh, really cool videos on YouTube, you should guys check them out. Um, 
I don't remember what it's about. When they told when I heard about it on those videos, it sounded good enough to pre-order. I don't. Re I've forgotten what it was since then. So uh, it'll be a nice surprise when I read this and say, "Oh yeah, that's what it was about. That was pretty cool." Uh, all right, so Eve number three, I've enjoyed the first two really well. Sort of a post-apocalyptic kind of thing uh, where, you know, Earth has been flooded or maybe I'm getting that confused. Yeah, Earth has been flooded, right, in this one, I think? She's on a boat. She's got, like, a robotic teddy bear helping her. At the end of the second issue, she met another group of kids, these kids right here, and we're going to see if they can save Earth. Seven Secrets number 10, I haven't read the first nine, or I read the first issue and I actually really liked it, which was good enough for me to get the rest of the series thus far, so I just need to catch up on this, but I hear good things. Secret Land number two, I just read the first one a couple nights ago and it was really cool, uh, you know, uh, I think, no, not husband and wife, uh, a man and woman who are engaged, I believe. Uh, or maybe they're married, I don't remember. But they're spies in World War II era, one, one guy's in Japan, the wife is in, uh, Germany undercover um, they you know the, the 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 man thinks that the woman is dead and she gets a message out to him last issue to maybe to, to reveal hey she's not and I've got information and we'll see what happens but this was an interesting one uh, so we'll keep going with that and then um, another surprise I didn't know was coming out this week uh, Nottingham number four just like last week I didn't expect to get one through three uh, I didn't even know four was coming out but there I was um, so I've heard good things about that series as well, but uh, I haven't read any of it yet. Uh, if I had known this was coming out, I would have caught up, but, uh, but also I was glad to have found it. I was super glad to find it, um, and we'll try it out. And then the last of the new books for the week, Ninjak number one from Valiant, sort of, uh, I don't know if they're rebooting or just kind of restarting Ninjak, but um, I know a little bit about Ninjak, never really read too much, so maybe we'll learn some more this issue. Also dug through the uh, dollar bins and found a few cool things. Kingpin number two. Um, I got the first one a while back, um, so figured I'd go ahead and get the second one. And then a few more to add to my Punisher World Journal. Punisher War Journal. Punisher World Journal. <laughs> Punisher War Journal collection. Uh, number 34, number 37, and number 42. So I don't know what made me start getting these. I just realized that I had a few and just kind of kept going from there. Um, I did get Punisher number 14. I don't even know what volume this is or what year it came out, but it's a variant cover. Jim Lee drawing Forge on a Punisher cover. What? Uh, I had to pick this one up just for the cover because I actually think Forge is one of the most underrated X-Men out there. He's one of my favorite lesser known X-Men. And Jim Lee drawing him is super cool. And it's a Punisher book. I don't know if he shows up in this one. I don't know why there's an X-Man as a variant of Punisher. I don't know what they were doing whenever this came out. But it was cool enough for me to get for a dollar. And then uh, last one of the dollar bins, Punisher G-Force. I actually thought this was a Punisher Gatchaman uh, crossover. But I guess not. I don't know what this story is about. But this kind of, you know, this is sort of the older school square bound, you know, one shots. Um, I don't know what the story is, but it was a dollar and this sort of tickled my nostalgia bones. So I had to pick that up. And then last but not least, uh, the Green Lantern Season 2 Volume 2 hardcover. Um, Grant Morrison, Liam Sharp. I haven't read Volume 1. I haven't read any of this, either of these two seasons. But um, I have both volumes of Season 1. I forgot to get volume one of season two but i'll go back and get that but um yeah so we will try that out as well and that's it guys that is a pretty good haul so guys um i appreciate you watching if you like this video or any of the other videos on my channel uh maybe consider hitting the subscribe button if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give it a sarcastic thumbs up if nothing else leave me a comment down below let me know what you picked up this week if you found any cool dollar bins did you get any cool variants any comics that you didn't know were coming out that you just saw and were happy they were there and grabbed them up, just let me know. Uh, I love comic books. I could talk about them with a room full of people or just to a camera. Guys, remember, comic books are supposed to be fun. They're just another fun form of storytelling. Uh, let everyone like what they like and you can like what you like. If uh, you like something that someone else doesn't, that's okay. If someone likes something that you don't, that is okay too. It will not hurt you. The great thing about comics is there is plenty for everyone to find. If you don't like something, then there's plenty more to choose from. 
you can just find whatever you like and everybody can be happy. So guys, I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.